Previously, I made flame breathing, and a lot of you liked that, so I guess I'll go ahead and do another breathing style. And since Demon Slayer Season 3 just finished, I suppose I'll make one of the Hashira's breathing style, which is Moichiro's Mist Breathing. And we'll once again go by order, from the 1st to 7th form. To start off, I'd need a katana model, and so I used a free one because I can't model. Then I started on the animation. I'm planning to make the 1st and 2nd form go under the same skill, since this breathing has 7 forms and you can only have 6 skills in the game. So yeah, I'll have to adjust it. After you thrust your sword for the first form, you transition stances and do the second form. Now after the mid and garbage animation will make the effects. But since my particle pack does not have that much particles I can use for mist breathing, I'll be quickly drawing some particles. By the way, the particle pack I made is free and can be used by you. The link is in the description. To draw these particles I used Ibis Paint X which you can install for your mobile devices. The first particle is a simple curved mist slash. The next thing I drew is a sword trail. And after that is a 4x4 flipbook particle that gradually fades. After that I imported the drawings as decals and put them on particle emitters which I'll be using to form the mist breathing effects. I also added some other smoke particles from Bingo's particle pack to add on to my own particles. And so this is the VFX for the first skill. Garbage. Anyway, the first result was very bad. So I made the slash effects at the end more visible and it still looks bad. So then, I modified the animation a bit to make you spin the sword and make the skill slightly cooler. The next skill will be a range move, Scattered Mist Splash. The VFX will be quite similar to the first move, but this time it's a projectile and will be somewhat wider. I then reused the sword slash animation I had because it's not that bad anyway. Now I realized that what made these skills a bit overwhelming is that it lacks even more slash effects. So I grabbed the slash flipbook I made and slapped it onto the skill. Next up I drew another simple semi-transparent mist particle with a bit of outlines. I then started with the particles of this skill, which are mist effects suddenly appearing around the player. After that, I made a slash animation and finished the startup of the move. After that, I created the hit effect, which consists of even more mist, cause you know, this is mist breathing so uh, well, uh, anyway, it looks nice at least. Now it's time for the skill that will probably take me the longest to make, which is also a grab move, so it'll be a buggy mess, probably. And so I started with the awful and tedious static animations. The animation consists of duplicated slashing effects and a regular and lame stance. As for the particle effects, it's every particle effect you've seen in this video molded into one messy brick. Wow. And eventually I did run into a bug, well obviously, 
where if your enemy dies while in the grab move, you also die. I figured it was because I was using welds. So I used something called move to instead. It's more delayed and the enemy now falls back behind you but that's okay I guess. Now that the animations and the grab move is working, I'll polish some stuff and add some touches. Nah, I'm kidding. The move too looks goofy as hell so I just went back to welds. But this time, to prevent the enemy and player from dying, I modified the script a bit so that you can't die while you are being grabbed. Oh yeah, that may be a bit too overpowered. Now up next is an AoE skill, which consists of even more consecutive slashing and even more missed particles. To be honest, I am too tired to commentate this part, so yeah, you get the skill anyway. And for the last move, it's a simple evasive. Just makes you invisible and gets you out of combos. Honestly, I'm too tired to make this better so I'ma go rest. <laughs> 